Hey, so for those of you who I don't know or I've not met before, I'm Daniel Priestley. I'm the co-founder and chairperson of ScoreUp. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually build some of these from scratch. The way that it works is that I log into my ScoreUp here and I go to create scorecard. And I'm going to go in and build a scorecard. Now, let me get a volunteer. Noop, are you willing to volunteer? Yes. Hi, Dan. Okay. How are you doing? Okay, let's use the AI setup wizard to build you a little scorecard campaign. Yeah. How it works, right? We just say get started. We want to generate some new leads for your business, Snoop. We'll put those. We want to have some leads here. That here. The first thing the AI is going to do is it's going to ask, what would, how would you describe your business? And I'm going to say marketing strategy or consumer goods, yeah? I have no idea what it's going to come up with, by the way. I just know, so I just thought I'd throw you under the bus there. But, <laughs> and I know that you do marketing strategy for consumer goods. So let's see what the AI comes up with. It says, how would you describe your target audience? Millennial mums, working professionals, health enthusiasts. I'm going to say corporate brand managers, yeah? Yeah. So you can either pick this or we can... Add in whatever you want to add in. What do you want to help your clients achieve or prevent? Increase sales strength and brand awareness? Prevent brand dilution? How about we go strength and brand awareness? Cool? Yeah. So it's already starting to, the AI is already starting to figure your business out. It's got two pieces of information. It's now started to figure out what your business might be all about. So now it's coming up with a scorecard concept. Brand awareness boosting, the ultimate brand strategy quiz. Are you maximizing your brand potential? Which one of those do you like, Noop? Brand strategy. There we go. The ultimate brand strategy quiz. Now it says, okay, let's choose what we want to score people against. Target audience, brand perception, brand identity, marketing channels, competitive analysis. Which ones of those do you like? Uh, let's say market, marketing channels. Great. Anything else? competitive analysis and should we go brand perception as well yeah okay right so now we've got three things that we're going to quiz people about so here's what it'll do it has to go away it has to think about all of that because we just sent quite a big packet of information over to open ai and now it's going to write the questions and come back okay so here's some of the marketing channel questions do you currently use social media channels to promote your brand let's ask that do you use email marketing have you invested in paid advertising? Do you actively engage with audience? I'll just, I'll just select three. Competitive analysis. Does your company regular track competitor activity? Have you identified your main competitors? Do you adjust your brand strategy based on competitive activity? Boom, so we go there. And then we go number three. Now you can edit these as much as you like, but it's coming up with some good ones. Brand perception. Do customers perceive your brand to be trustworthy and reliable? Does your brand have unique value proposition? Does your brand have strong emotional connection with customers? Okay, we've gone and I've selected nine questions just to keep it nice and light. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say create the scorecard new and watch how many words it's going to write. Now, before I do this, in the chat, if I was to say you're going to find a copywriter, get a thousand words worth of copy written, then you're going to send it over to a coder who's going to create a version one of a landing page, a quiz, and a dynamic results page, how long do you reckon that would take and how much do you reckon it would cost? Put into the chat how long you think it would take and how much you'd expect to pay and how much time would it take, what would you expect to pay for something like that? So a 1,000 words worth of content written and a version one of a website, version one of quiz, version one of dynamic res results. So what would we expect? Let's have a little thing. Six weeks, three and a half grand, one month, <laughs> 25 grand total, about one month, five grand, three weeks, 1500, one to two months, two and a half grand. Okay, let's see how long it takes the AI to do all of this. So here we go. Create the scorecard. Hold on tight. <clears throat> Adding pages, 928 words written, six and a half hours worth of writing time saved. And it's just going to finish up. It's going to do some coding and bing. All right, AI, amazing, amazing. 991 words, seven hours saved. We'll go to the dashboard and we'll have a look at what it's created. So I'm going to go in here and just have a look. What did it create? 
All right, so we'll have a look in draft mode. Take the ultimate brand strategy quiz. Answer nine questions and we'll send you a personalized report. Are you a corporate brand manager looking to strengthen your brand awareness? Our quiz provides a valuable feedback on marketing channels, competitive analysis, and brand perception. Take the quiz today and improve your brand strategy. Take the scorecard. So the first thing the AI has done is it's created a landing page and it's put that together. The next thing it's done, created a data capture page. So I'll just put in here. Actually, you know what? Let's get, let's go and publish it. Okay, there we go. And I'll just check it's all nicely built. So that, okay, great. So what I'll do is for those of you who feel like you want to have a play, use this QR code. Actually, I'll share the link in the chat. That's easier. So let me put this all in the chat for you. So you don't have to put your real details if you don't want. You can just put test at testing or something like that. So I'll go through and I will actually do the quiz myself. Okay, so take the ultimate brand strategy quiz, take the scorecard. So I'll put test, testly, we'll put, put testing at testing.com. Okay, so I start the quiz. So the, this has already coded up the quiz. It created a, a place for Nuke to put a logo, a brand, right? And I can go through and I can answer the questions. And nice and easy there. Go through and answer these questions. Bang, I've done these. Now, look what it's done. It's coded a dynamic landing page that responds to how I understood the questions. Congratulations on completing the ultimate brand strategy quiz. Thank you for taking the time to complete the quiz. We hope you found it insightful and it's given you some food thought, right? AI wrote all of that. It also created this little dynamic thing here that responds based on how you answered the quiz. Marketing channels, right? Your marketing channels is medium. This suggests you're aware of some of the available channels to promote your brand, but there's room for improvement, right? 33% competitive analysis. Your score is low suggests you may not be aware, right? AI has written all of that and it's got a call to action about booking a call and getting started. So it's already done that, right? So that's pretty amazing. Let's go and have a look at the leads that are coming in, right? So I'll see if we've got some leads coming in. I've got my first 10 leads and it's given me a little dashboard. It says 19 people started and 18 people have finished the scorecard already. So it's told me that. I can go and have a look at my leads and here's all the leads that have come in. So here they are. So here's Rebecca on our team, right? She's answered the quiz. I'm gonna click on her as a link. What's pretty amazing is it's found Rebecca's email and it's found an image on the internet of Rebecca and it's just popped that in there. It knows that Rebecca's in the United Kingdom. So it's just popped that in there based on her IP address. And now I can see how Rebecca answered all of the questions. I can see her activity on the website. I can see where she came from, right? All of that. Now it gets pretty sexy. If you're not paying full attention, pay full attention right now because this is where we get super sexy. This is the, this is the exciting stuff. Imagine I follow up with Rebecca and I want to write her an email so that I can follow up and make a sale. So I'm going to click this little button here called the AI button and I'm going to say I want to have a sales email. And AI is going to go and write Rebecca an email based on how she answered all the questions. Hi, Rebecca. Congratulations on scoring 61% on the ultimate brand strategy quiz. That's an impressive result. And we'd love to help you take your brand to the next level. Based on your quiz answer, it's great to see that your brand is perceived as trustworthy and reliable, has a unique value proposition. We noticed that your competitive analysis score was quite low and that you haven't yet identified your main competitors. That's an area we can help you with. At Dent, we specialize in this. I'd love to learn more about your business. Right, I now have a custom written email to Rebecca that is custom written based upon the how she answered the questions. Now that is mind blowing. That is like having a copywriter full time working on your team, not being paid unless they're writing content and ready to go at the drop of a hat. Right, so now we've got that. It gets even sexier. Let's go over to our insights and have a look how everyone answered. So now I've got all this data that's coming in and all of this data is my data. It's my unique data. So let's have a look at this. One of the questions is, do you currently use social media channels to promote your brand? 
35% said no. Let's write a blog about that. So I hit the AI button and it says, would you like to write a blog? Yes, I do want to write a blog about that. So I hit a button. Social media has become a critical tool in the world of business. It's a platform that allows business, both large and small, to connect with their target audience and increase their brand visibility and ultimately drive sales. Today's digital age, it's almost impossible to imagine success without social media. According to recent data, though, the ultimate brand strategy quiz, 65% of businesses reported using social media. However, the remaining 35% do not use social media. I have just written a custom blog about my own custom data, which I only collected three minutes ago. Right. So I have, I've just three minutes ago, I've created some data and now I'm able to comment on it in the media. Have you identified your main competitors? Let's write a press article about this. So there we go. I'm writing a press article about that one. All right. You get the idea. Let's see what else we can do. Let's do some tweets. So it now starts writing tweets about this data. <laughs> Results from 19 people show 57.87 have identified their brand strategy. It's even putting hashtags into the tweets. So it's writing a series of tweets right, about the data. So here's a pretty wild thing. 10 minutes ago, I said, Noop, do you want to do you want to create a scorecard? And she said, Yeah, sure. She answered two questions about her business. The AI wrote the scorecard, coded the landing page, created a data capture form, created the quiz questions, put a dynamic results page together, captured 22 leads, stuck those 22 leads into a data anal analytic platform, connected with OpenAI, wrote blogs, wrote sales emails, right? All in a matter of 10 minutes. Like how insane is that? When I said this is like from the future, I meant this is from the future. This is wild stuff, right? Totally wild that this stuff is real, right? It's actually real and it's happening. It's actually a real thing. If I want to pick up the phone and talk to Rebecca, old school, I just say sales script, sales call script, right? And it's going to generate a call script. Pretty soon we'll actually have AI that just does the script. It rings and pretends to be human and follows the script using a nice friendly Irish accent or something like that. It'll be great to put all there, right? Look at that, ring, ring. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Rebecca. It's Daniel Priestley from Dent Global. How are you doing today? It actually creates a scroll. I just wanted to follow up on your recent completion of our ultimate brand strategy, right? It creates a script, a sales script. So this is what I mean by totally mind-blowing technology. Now, what's cool is that if you've got a new business idea, you can create a scorecard and start generating leads. If you've got a new product idea, you can test it out with something like this. Or if you've got an established product, you can just go out and start promoting your established product like this. Noop, what do you think of all that? You were the one who, you were the guinea pig. How does it resonate? Honestly, it's mind blowing. And I've been using Score App for a couple of weeks now. And I'm just astounded as to what I've seen, especially what you've shown tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining the workshop. Have a great day or evening wherever you are in the world and uh, look forward to seeing what you do with these tools and how you generate some leads and grow your business using score app uh, all the best Cheers.